Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Tutorial PL Bhavan Part 4. So today in this video I would like to show you uh, about what are the rules for rules that need to be used for naming a data name, statement labels and an internal procedures. So so for any data names or any statement labels or any procedures there will be a certain rules that we need to follow in any of the programming language if you are either it can be a function or it can be an, a data name or it can be any statements so where whatever it is but any programming language has to follow a certain rules so in the same way in PL bar 1 so we are going to see what are the rules for naming a data name statement labels and internal procedures so here it is so the maximum of 31 characters you can use it or uh, alphabets that is A to Z at the rate hash dollar you can use it numeric digits that is 0 to 9 and the first character must be an alphabet and uh, so below is the example of identifier so it can be like whenever you name any identifier name for either it can be a data names or statements or internal procedure so it can be like something uh, these are the below examples of that particular identifier that is if you want to code something it is rate of interest you can see underscore okay and the total count and then employee number so you can code it in this way or you can start with a special character or at the rate uh, hash or we can say national characters hash of lines so these are the below kind of examples so as stated here the first character must be an alphabet so since uh, at the rate hash under comes an alphabet so uh, these are national character but these are considered as um, uh, alphabets so you have to start in this way but never start with a number okay so these are the rules that you need to follow and uh, the comments the comment is very very important whenever you code any programming language so if another user has to understand or yourself have to understand so what you are trying to use so what is this programming is about and so on so so the common plays a very key role when you code any programming okay or in any language so so we need to know how to write these comments the comments always begin with slash star and and with star slash for example if my program is something about hello world so so it should always starts with slash star and i am giving a comment like my first hello world pl one program and it is ending with asterisk slash okay so this is how in this way you will be giving your comments okay so thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly please subscribe, share or comment on my YouTube channel. So I'll be coming up with more and more videos. Okay. Have a have a great and pleasurable day or an evening.